about explaining to people what it means to be a true fighting man. You've got to put the work in. And it's a lifetime commitment from being a small boy. The commitment's massive. That's where a lot of people don't make it. I've seen young kids get in the gym as young as four, five years old and they're doing it right through their life. That's what it takes to be a fighting man. You can't just get out of your bed one morning, sit in a big car and think you want to challenge people who've been in the fight game all their life. Because you'll get found out. But not only get found out, you can get badly hurt. You know. And to be honest with you, I was stupid getting involved with people like you. Because really I was looking at a life sentence. If I'd have hurt you, mate, I'd been going back to jail for the rest of my life and I'd have blew my ticket. So, but I was prepared to take a chance. I thought, you know what? Because at some point, everybody has got to look in the mirror and say, this can't go on. This man's got to be stopped. And in my book, I've done that. I've covered every aspect with you, mate. Auditoriums, out the question completely. We're in a changing world, but we'll never be the same again. There'll probably never be big crowds again. We don't know this. But I know one thing, mate. You never ever wanted to be a fighter. You'd already been one a long time ago. And now I'm bringing all this to a close on you, mate. I want you to do me a favour, a small kindness. Don't ever have the audacity to mention the Fury name again. Because when you do, people will be laughing at you. Because you've gone on and on and on for months what you're going to do. You'd fight me in a toilet. You'd do this, you'd do that. You'd fight me anywhere. My bottle's gone. People like me, mate. Bottle is the last thing that goes. I was born a man. I'll die a man. And I fear nothing, mate. I don't fear anything. Even at the grand old age of 50 odd like I am, 55. I don't fear men. Because men fighting, that's my business. That's what I've done all my life. It's just like people going to work of a morning on a nine to five job. The fight game is what I've loved and lived all my life. And I'll continue to do so. So now I'm going to get on with my life. I'm going to forget about this now. Get on with my life. I've got two sons that need a lot of help. I've got to get Tommy to a world title. It's another 10 years in the process. So I've got a lot to do. I'm a busy man. But let me just say this much. I apologise to everybody who thought Mickey Theo was the real deal, but believe me, I knew he was never the real deal. He was a comedian that I tried to ignore, but he went on too much. And it comes a time when you start feeling like you're having the piss took out of you and you've got to respond. I've responded. I'm at Manchester Fight Club. I've been here since half past seven. No one's turned up. He's obviously come to his senses and thought, you know what, I don't need the hospital. I'm going to stay where I am. Good luck in your weightlifting career.